Hello everyone, I am Gabriele, welcome to my channel. How do you grow Carnotaurus so easily, kinda? Well, these are my tips and tricks, what I usually do in order to maximize my chances of growing a Carnotaurus. Uh, I will go over the map in a second, but first things first, uh, please remember this side of the map, containers, use, use all of these things as a reference point. Keep using reference points uh, that uh, you are more uh, uh, easy around, let's say. So this arch has a big uh, uh, water puddle down here, you can uh, drink, and uh, this area, I mean all the coast, all the western coast, uh, all, all of these different beaches and uh, rocky areas, they have plenty of turtles. So up to a 50% growth stage, you can just feed on turtles, drink water from here and go hiding in the forest. That's, uh, check it, turtle here, turtle here, turtle here. I uh, don't, don't kill like this if you don't need it, uh, because it might lure other predators uh, as big as you. So that's or maybe bigger. It's a, it's a, it's always a, a, a big danger deciding uh, to uh, kill something around because it might lure the attention from uh, other predators that can use the sniffing scent. So unless you can avoid certain gameplay, just avoid killing if you are staying in one zone in one area. It's uh, always kind of dangerous, kind of dangerous staying around one area where uh, uh, someone uh, something recently died because of uh, the corpse scent, because of the corpse uh, scent that has been released. Now, now that I have eaten, now that I have drunk, I just can uh, sit down and uh, wait to grow up to 50% growth stage. I am well past that growth stage. After this growth stage, you wanna go somewhere else though. You wanna go somewhere else. Now, let's go over it. Let's go uh, over the map. All the links down in the description below, all of these links, uh, you have vulnona.com, this is vulnona.com, just make sure you are on a map on the top left side of your screen, map Isla Spiro 4.2 or the latest version. Now, I have ticked on landmark, name, uh, drinkable water, name and road trail cave slash name, so you have different uh, points of reference. Now. You wanna pick up Carnotaurus, you wanna spawn in the south region, region south, south. Uh, once uh, uh, you pick up uh, the region south, you will spawn either left or right of uh, Pocket uh, River. You, you will spawn in between uh, Sisters Falls and Pocket Falls. On, uh, on the prairie, either left side or right side of Pocket River. The blue line, it's a pocket river, pocket falls, sisters falls. You will spawn uh, either right or left hand side of this river in the prairie. Now, as soon as you spawn, you wanna do one thing. You wanna go towards beach paddle. I mean, where I was a few moments ago with my Carnotaurus, beach paddle. Uh, you, you have an arch, you are on the beach, you have plenty of turtles, it doesn't matter uh, where you reach uh, uh, the coast because uh, as soon as you are on the coast you just need to go north or south uh, to, in order to go to beach paddle, depending which uh, uh, way you went. If you went too much north you will find yourself by the docks, by the port, if you went too much south from uh, uh, your spawning point, from this spawning point, if you went too much south, uh, well, probably you will have taken some uh, uh, full damage, probably, but not necessarily, but uh, you will need to go north uh, and uh, to the beach paddle. You have uh, here a picture showing Pteranodon by uh, the arch, by this drinkable uh, water source, pretty neat. Now, you have seen my gameplay, well, uh, pretend gameplay where uh, I have drunk water from the beach paddle then I have killed a turtle I have supposedly killed that uh, eaten that turtle and uh, you you hide you eat you drink you hide you go you can uh, do a lot of AFK growth grow grows uh, away from keyboards it's pretty easy up to 50% growth stage uh, mind to enter that 50% growth stage with a full belly. It means that your nutrients will be around 105, 110 percent. 
ish. It means you can drag such diet up to 85 slash 90% growth stage with your Carnotaurus. That's uh, a big deal because it means that uh, you have a fast growth up to a 90% growth stage. Uh, decently fast. I mean, a Carnotaurus virtually will grow in 2 hours and 15 minutes with a perfect diet. Now, uh, in case you are very unlucky, but you manage to enter that 50% growth stage with a full belly, plenty of nutrients, you will be able to grow a Carnotaurus in 3 hours because the last 10 slash 15% of growth stage you have uh, non-nutrients, if you have been really unlucky or if you haven't moved, I mean, if you haven't moved from one place, that's on you. This gameplay uh, is kind of safe, but after a certain growth stage, you need to risk a bit if you want to have a faster growth stage. Otherwise, you can just stick by the beach and uh, eat turtles up to 100% as well. But if not, you just go back, go back where you came from, south, and uh, just below, just uh, down trash pit, just down trash pit in uh, the prairie. I mean, uh, imagine a, a vertical line going from trash pit south, and imagine a line going from uh, uh, Sisters Fall on the right hand side, horizontal one, and uh, you meet you uh, you meet these two lines here. In this in this spot, you have goats. Goats are on on your diet, so at least uh, you will have one nutrient. One nutrient is. Uh, is like the basic if you want to do some skirmishes because if you have zero nutrients if you have zero nutrients your attack power will be decreased by 25 percent and you do not want to find yourself in that situation if goats have run out because uh, plenty of carnotaurus players around you can always go center in the lemon fields plenty of deers your carnotaurus is big enough to hunt deers already as a juvenile, you cannot because the ears are too fast and you need a lot of bites on them, so it's like a no-go. Well, that's all uh, for today. This uh, is just how I grow Carnotaurus, no issues at all. With one nutrient, just keep moving. If you want to do zero nutrients, it's because you uh, are stuck in one place or because you haven't risked enough. This game in the end is survival, it's not skirmish but uh, it depends on every single gameplay uh, that each person has or wanna have at that specific moment in, uh, in their playtime. Well, that's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Please uh, tell me uh, how you grow Carnotaurus. What's the best way to grow Carnotaurus? There is more than one way. Um, this is just my opinion on how to make it easier to grow Carnotaurus. Generally speaking, generally speaking, then things shift depending on the gameplay of most players. Well, uh, that's that's really all for today. Please consider subscribing my channel. This is my Carnotaurus. Goats are in my diet as well as deers. This is a pretty cool thing. Dreosaurus, uh, you need some players. It, but come on, after a certain growth stage, uh, it might be kind of normal to have a different, uh, uh, not a perfect diet or to struggle to keep a certain perfect diet. I don't know. It is just my opinion. It is just my opinion here. Plenty of people just do not agree. We all have different opinions and uh, this game is a community game in the end, from what I see, because developers listen to community. So, uh, well, that's all for real. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing my channel and have a great day. Bye-bye.